Hello and welcome to Ken Questions. I'm Ken McKim and tonight we're going to be talking about how to honor someone's pain. Now this video is in response to an email I received from a young man named David who is an EMT in Texas. His girlfriend has complex regional pain syndrome and she had sent him the link to my Feel This Pain video on CRPS where I describe what that disease is and what it feels like to have it. So David wrote in to me and asked, if I had any advice for him on how to make her life easier. Well, I'm certainly happy to share with you the life lessons I've learned with my wife having Crohn's disease. And if any of them help you, then I'm happy to share it. <laughs> so I guess the first piece of advice I would have for you is to learn how to acknowledge her pain without diminishing or downplaying it. And what I mean by that is do not compare it to anyone else's pain. I know it's kind of instinctual when someone we love is having a hard time to make them feel better by pointing out an example of someone else who supposedly had a worse time, but that can backfire. In fact, it does backfire more often than not because it seems like you're telling your loved one who's telling you how much pain they're in that, hey, at least you don't have as much pain as so-and-so. It's negating the pain that they do have. You're basically telling them that their pain doesn't matter as much, and they should maybe just buck up because they don't have it as bad as so-and-so does over there. So, yeah. That would be piece of advice number one. Do not compare her pain to anybody else's. Just acknowledge that she feels like crap. Tell her that you know, and that sucks, and you're there for her, and leave it at that. The next piece of advice I would give anybody who is in a relationship with someone who has a chronic illness is to don't constantly ask them how they're feeling. Now, I know that you want to because you want to take care of them, and so you want to know how they're doing so you can know how to take care of them. But asking that over and over really does get old for them and it sends the message that maybe you're just hoping they're spontaneously going to get better. They're not. They have a chronic illness and it's going to be with them for years. So instead, maybe just ask them how their day went. And then if they had a particularly bad bout of pain they want to share with you, they will. So the last piece of advice I guess I would give is just to be thoughtful and not in any grand gesture kind of way, but just, you know, doing little things. What do I mean? Well, sometimes when Karina is having a particularly bad night, I might just, out of nowhere, get up and go to the kitchen and fix her a cup of tea because she loves that tea and I know it's going to put a smile on her face. Or if I'm at the grocery store, I might pick up her favorite magazine or a little bag of her favorite chocolates. One time she was at the hospital and our friends Sean and Aaron brought her a cheeseburger in the hospital. You know, things like that, just to show that you pay attention to the things she likes, and you're thinking of her, not just thinking of her disease. Because, honestly, what a chronically ill person wants more than anything is to be normal. Their disease has robbed them of having a normal life, so anything you can do to make their life as close to normal as possible is going to make their day. So basically, that's it. Don't treat her like a sick person. She's not a piece of fragile Waterford crystal that you have to worry about shattering if you touch her wrong. She's your girlfriend. Just take her out on the town when she feels up to it. When she doesn't, stay at home and watch your favorite shows on Netflix together. Whatever you do together, just enjoy it. And just enjoy being with each other. It's really all I can think of, so I... Hope you found it useful, and to anyone else watching, if you have any questions for me, please don't be afraid. Send them to Ken at DontPunishPain.com. You can also follow me over on Twitter, at DontPunishPain. And until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.